Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to desolder an SMD IC in a QFP package using hot air, even when surrounded by numerous small components, without causing any damage to them. Here, we have a faulty QFP48 IC surrounded by very small components packed together, such as resistors and capacitors. These components are very tiny and delicate, and if we attempt to desolder the IC with hot air, the small components may blow off with air. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate simple and effective techniques that can be very helpful if you encounter a similar soldering situation. Make sure to watch the video until the end to benefit from this informative tutorial. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing for future content. Now, we will attempt to remove this IC using heat, but first, we will cover the surrounding small components to protect them from direct exposure to the hot air. The standard procedure involves using aluminum foil and captain tape to shield components that should not be heated. Here we will use the aluminum foil. After that, you apply more concentrated heat to the specific part you wish to desolder. Place the aluminum foil over the IC you wish to desolder and press it tightly against the IC to create clear markings for the area. To cut out of the sheet, ensure that this measurement is accurate and precise. Follow the procedure as shown. Now, you can see that we have clear boundary markers for the IC outline that we need to cut out. Flatten the foil with markers, then use a sharp blade tool to cut the outline marker area precisely. Now position the foil with the exposed cut over the IC, ensuring that the surrounding small components we don't need to desolder are covered and securely protected from exposure to hot air during the desoldering process. Flux compound aids in preparing metal surfaces for desoldering by eliminating oxides, enhancing wetting, and improving the flow of solder. It usually appears as a paste, liquid, or core within the solder wire. When heated, the flux activates and begins to eliminate the oxides, preventing them from disrupting the soldering process. Flux ensures that heat is distributed smoothly and evenly. Position the hot air nozzle a few centimeters away from the SMDIC to establish a controlled heat zone. 
gradually raise the temperature and airflow until the solder reaches its melting point. Keep the hot air nozzle moving in a circular motion to evenly distribute the heat and avoid localized overheating. Once the solder has melted, use tweezers or fine pointed pliers to carefully lift the SMD component from the board, avoid applying excessive force to prevent damage to the component or the surrounding circuitry. If the component does not come off easily, reapply heat and gently nudge it until it loosens. Finally, it's done well. You can see that all the tiny components surrounding the desoldered IC are intact and not being displaced or disturbed by the hot air. After removing the IC, inspect the solder joints for any leftover solder or debris. Utilize solder wick to eliminate any excess solder from the pads. Clean the area with isopropyl alcohol and a soft brush or cloth to ensure a clean surface for the new component or additional repairs. Desoldering SMD components with hot air necessitates a systematic approach and precise execution to ensure success. By adhering to the step-by-step, process detailed in this guide, you can confidently address SMD component removal while reducing the risk of damage to the surrounding circuitry. Remember to exercise caution, utilize appropriate tools, and uphold proper workspace hygiene for optimal results.